Hey guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to this video. And today we're talking about Games Workshop's roadmap. So if you've seen the recent announcement from Games Workshop, they said that we're going to put a roadmap up um, detailing the 9th edition codex releases for Warhammer 40k in 2021. That went live today, 13th of August. That went up on the community website and I went and had a look um, and I felt like this was something I really quickly wanted to talk about um, and I'm also thinking about doing some more of these little short form videos in the future. We'll talk more about that towards the end of the video. So their roadmap went up on the website and I'm going to share it with you now and you'll see that this is a monumental disappointment. This is not a roadmap. This is, quite frankly, an absolute joke. So what does the roadmap tell us? Well, the roadmap tells us that in August 2021, we're going to get 1,000 Sons of Grey Knights. Well, we already knew that, and we already knew that because they've been up for pre-order for six days, and they come out tomorrow. That's not news. That's not a roadmap. That's just a, these are coming and you already know about it. The roadmap also tells us that Orc players are going to have to wait till September 2021 before they actually get their hands on the generic codex. So you'll know that the Beast Snagger box has been out for two weeks now if you were one of the very few people that managed to get your hands on one and you're not a scalper. Um, but anybody else who wants to get access to the Orc rules, well, they're going to have to wait till September. So two months, near enough, maybe at best five to six weeks, but probably two months before you can get your hands on the codex after the limited edition one was released. That is, in essence, a dick move by Games Workshop. I hate that. And I've told you before on previous videos that I would rather they release these books at the exact same time they release the limited edition codexes. This is stupid. We shouldn't have to wait. Also, we knew it was coming. It's not a new announcement. It's not a new release. It's not exciting. There we go. I've said it. We get to November. November's the first sign of anything exciting that we don't yet know about. We have the Black Templar supplement. Positive move from Games Workshop. I think Black Templars should have their own supplement. I'm really excited to see what it has in that book. I'm really excited to see all the models they may release with it. I hope. I say I hope because Grey Knight book came out and all we got was a Castell and Crow. They didn't update any of the rest of the range and I was quite disappointed for that. And I know people have told me that it's hard to shoehorn Primaris into the Grey Knight lore, but I think they could have at least done with May making them a bit more true scale and I think that that would have really benefited the Grey Knight range so I was supremely disappointed with Castell and Crow so far for Templars as far as I'm aware we've only seen the Emperor's Champion model let's hope that that's not the only Black Templar model coming out and they have a whole new supplement coming out with nothing else to update them bar a few shoulder pads because that would be disappointing then we get to December in December there are two images of two books that both say redacted they give us nothing more than redacted at all and I don't know, looking at those logos, if they actually really give us tons of information as to what they are or what they could be. Potentially one of those looks like it might be a bit of a cornate kind of symbol. I don't, I don't, doesn't tell us. We have no idea. How's that a roadmap? How, we, it doesn't, we don't know what it is. Not only is that not a roadmap because we don't know what it is, but it's also incredibly disappointing when you think that that covers the rest of 2021. So we're in August, we've got September, October, November, December to go. We've got at least four months. We're only halfway through August, so we've got four and a half months to go. And in terms of actually new books, we're looking at three. That's a real slow release late for 2021. For the rest of 2021, they could have released one to two books a month, and maybe that would have been a heavy release schedule, but... They could have released one to two books a month and we would have looked at having six, seven, eight, nine codexes coming out by the end of the year and they could have updated a lot more of the current factions that don't yet have a ninth edition codex to bring them more in line with the eighth edition, sorry, the current ninth edition factions. We haven't seen Custodes, we haven't seen Tyranids, we haven't seen Gene Steeler Cults, Chaos Space Marines, we haven't seen Chaos Demons, Imperial Knights, Chaos Knights, Tau, the there's so much we haven't seen there's so much we haven't seen and all we're going to get is a black templar supplement that's new and two books where they haven't even told us what it is personally i'm really disappointed with this as a roadmap i don't think it is in fact a roadmap i don't think it actually gives us any great amount of news or anything to really get excited about it this is a token effort and a poor one at that so i'm not impressed but let me know what you guys think. So drop in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this roadmap. Are you thinking that this is exactly what you expected? Is it better than what you expected? Or are you also as disappointed as me with the uh, as disappointed as me with the information that's come out in this video? I'm not. I'm not impressed at all. 
I'm not impressed at all. The other thing I want you to let me know about in the comments below is what you think about this quick form video. So I've decided that when we drop these little nuggets on, when we, when they drop these little nuggets on the Warhammer community page, if it riles me up enough or if I'm interested enough, then I'll jump on and make a quick video about it and talk to you guys about it. I'm hoping I'm not always negative. I actually quite like being positive about 40k and Games Workshop. I think it was a wonderful and fantastic move with the new Kill Team box, for example, to say, actually, guys, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make them made to order. So if you don't get one of the first copies, but you do place an order, you will get a copy of the new Kill Team box. Horrendously positive, amazingly positive. It's almost like they watched my live stream. It's almost like they watched what I said they should do and then they've gone and done it. I mean, I'm joking, they clearly haven't watched my live stream, but it's a really positive move and I'm really happy that they've actually gone ahead and done that. Then they drop this roadmap and they disappoint us all all over again. Just when I thought they might be turning the corner after turning the corner after turning the corner. Hey, what do I know? Let me know what you think about this video below. Let me know if you think you would like to see these kinds of videos from me, from me talking about what the community page is releasing and what my thoughts, feelings um, and passions are with regards to these articles. And I also jumped, you'll probably notice, straight into the video. None of that sponsor nonsense and all that talking about what you can do to support the channel. That's coming now. So if you don't want to hear all that crap, you can turn me off right now. But if you do want to hear how you can support the channel more, then this is what's coming next. So you can head on over to deploymentzone.tv. There's a link in the description below. And subscribe to our website. You get a seven-day free trial. And there is tons of content in there from Winters SEO, from myself, from Play on Tabletop, the Conclave podcast. We're soon going to have some of the Vanguard Tactics Academy stuff in there. There's loads and loads and loads of content on DZTV. And if you sign up today, you get a seven-day free trial to try the content in the website before you make the pledge and start becoming an active subscriber. And you will, because it's amazing and it's full of amazing content. Other ways you can support the channel, well, you can come and watch these videos, hit subscribe and smash that like button. That definitely helps the videos and that helps the channel. Or you can think about becoming a channel member and hit that link below and come and join the ranks of the of the Liam Dempsey Vikings. That's a cheesy, we need to work on a name. But come and join us in the Great Hall and Discord um, and you can hang out with some like-minded people who think that I'm glorious. I don't, I don't know why. Um, there's also a Patreon page to support DCTV and you can head on over to Element Games, our sponsor, using the link below. And if you use that link below, they, name, they know you came from us and, uh, and it gives the channel a little kickback. That's everything. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.